Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's a little bit of an update on a hot water service that is actually running directly on um, solar panels. Three in series is what it ends up being. They're 30, 33 volts or 31 volts, I think. Uh, MPPT is what the rating is. So that gets me about 90 volts. What I've got here is a low voltage uh, 36 volt element and it's changed from being in parallel to in series so it actually gives me 72 volts i'm still running the original thermostat the original thermostat doesn't actually do the dc switching i'm using what they call uh, an n mosfet and the n mosfet actually is actually controlled by the thermostat and with 12 volt dc into it with a power pack this is the actual setup for the MOSFET. As you can actually see, the MOSFET is in, in the back there. And the MOSFET is rated at 150 volts, 400 amps. And the main thing I look at is the VGS, which is the required voltage of the transformer pack to be able to turn this MOSFET on and off. Also, another major important factor is this 2.5 milliohms now that 2.5 milliohms uh, is where the heat is created i had a previous mosfet on here that it was actually 45 milliohms and it was producing about 18 watts of heat and the heat sink would not actually maintain the temperature of the actual unit and it was getting up to about 70 80 degrees within about a minute of use what i've got also that 16.1 volts is a little uh, temperature sensor that is actually hooked up to the heat sink at the back and controls this fan that turns off and on and uh, at the moment seems to have only been running it only for the last hour or so uh, it doesn't produce any temperature like it was before with the previous MOSFET I was getting up around about 80 odd volts and rising before I actually disconnected it on here is a shunt monitor it is, and as you can see with a little digital readout at the moment, it's only about 41 volts and about, oh, what's that, so many amps, I didn't quite catch that. And that basically tells us what the actual element is actually doing, uh, amps and uh, voltage-wise, there you go. 41 volts and about 9 amps, so that's about, well, about 400 watts at the moment, because it's late in the afternoon, the sun's actually starting to get low in the horizon. Uh, so that's basically uh, the basic setup. Now getting back to the shunt mo monitoring, uh, this is actually the graph that I've produced for the last hour. You can actually see where it's actually the voltage has dropped off to zero because I've actually been disconnected to the DC uh, control circuit, the 12 volt power supply to make sure that actually the MOSFET actually turns off. And as you see the voltage is actually going down a little bit when I was saying it was about 40 odd volts. You can actually see there uh, where it's gone down to about 40 odd volts. Now, here is the MOSFET that, that I've set up as in the wiring diagram of it. It's an actually an end channel. So end channel means it uses the negative side of the actual uh, circuitry to actually do the switching. You can see where the supply uh, voltage, which is your transformer pack, is 5 to 16 volts, but I'm actually using 12 volts. Uh, there's a few resistors in there which is very important to actually to control the actual switching of it if they don't get these resistance right uh, you'll have trouble switching but this is still experimentation so at the moment those resistor values seem to be uh, working quite well but the time will be uh, be of, of a testing so that is basically uh, the setup uh, I'll keep you informed as time gets on